Um, I uh, think that uh, we have a right in this country to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I think that's a real fundamental issue. And I think that uh, uh, the uh, Republican uh, stand is uh, you know, the one that uh, uh, underscores and meets uh, American values, uh, traditional values of belief in justice, freedom, and the uh, values in the Constitution. There's a lot of social issues. There's a lot of uh, uh, many things that uh, you know people are contentious about. But uh, there's a very looming danger in, in uh, the financial, uh, fiscal area, and uh, the Democratic Party uh, has uh, uh, been running us further and further into debt. And when I say us, I mean not only me, but uh, our children, our grandchildren, you young people. Do you have any idea? how much more you owe the federal government today than you did when Mr. Obama was elected. Go look that up, okay? Oh, well, I hope to see Mr. Cuccinelli elected governor and Mr. Uh, Jackson elected uh, uh, lieutenant governor and Mr. Obenshane elected uh, as attorney general. And uh, hopefully uh, this uh, outcome will, you know, send, uh, either way, I think the outcome will send a message around the country uh, as to, you know, which way we're going. Well, I do care about education. I do care about transportation. Uh, to me personally, I am um, in a family where we've had a lot of health issues to contend with. And the, um, the fact that McAuliffe wants more Medicaid expansion, I think, um, is reason enough for me to come out there. I know there's um, a lot of people who don't have adequate health care right now. They don't really have the options, and they've felt um, that they're not getting access to the care that they need. We need to be doing more to make sure people have a reliable sense of how their insurance is going to be provided uh, with their health needs. Um, when I'm not involved with politics, I'm trying to figure out what we can do to better support a lot of children and families that do have autoimmune illnesses. It gets in the way of people being able to go to school on a full-time basis. And we need everybody to get the right training so that they can move on and have jobs that work for them and also that they can support the economy.